Everything you need to know about Angola's 4.5 billion Kakulu Kabasa hydroelectric power station. Hello Displorers, welcome to another informative video presented to you by Displore and thanks for watching. In this video we shall examine another bold step construction in Africa and look at everything you need to know about Angola's 4.5 billion Kakulu Kabasa hydroelectric power station. Kakulu Kabasa hydroelectric power station is a 2172 megawatt hydroelectric power station under construction in Angola. When completed, it will surely be bigger than the 2070 megawatt Laosa hydroelectric power station, the largest power station in the country, as of July 2017. The motive and raison d'etre behind such a bold construction project by Angola, coupled with its means and process, would definitely serve as inspiration and motivation to other nations and even future projects of Angola. That is why it is important that the full bulletin of its plans, processes and finance be brought to the world, which is why we are bringing you everything you need to know about this project. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Location and overview of the project. The power station is located at the village of Sao Pedro de Quilembra, near the city of Dondo, in Kwanza North province. This location is approximately 195 kilometers by road southeast of Luanda, the capital and largest city of Angola. In August 2017, construction began on this power station by the selected contractor, China Gwenzuba Group Company Limited. The plant generation capacity at Kakulo Kabasa is 2,172 megawatts to be used in Angola and for exports to the countries in the Southern African Power Pool. Construction is expected to last at least 80 months and in October 2019, the Angola Press News Agency reported that the commercial commissioning of this power station was expected in 2024. The main dam will be 103 meters in height with crest width of 553 meters creating a reservoir lake that measures up to 16.3 kilometers in length with a surface area of 16.6 kilometers square. Construction cost and funding the total project cost is budgeted at 4.5 billion US dollars, 85% of which is funded by the state-owned Industrial and Commercial Bank of China ICBC. The project is expected to allow access to electricity from 30 to 60% of the national population. The construction of the plant started in August 2017 and will continue for the next five years approximately. The project was cleared in 2015 and ICBC, the main financial, posed the condition that it would be the Chinese consortium CGGC that would build it. According to an article in Spiegel, El Mundo and other sources, the daughter of the former Angolan president Isabel dos Santos has a high share in the consortium which ensures revenues for the ruling family as well. The construction company Gwenzuba Group will own, operate and maintain the power station for at least four years after commercial commissioning. During those four years, China Gwenzuba will train Angolan technicians on how to manage the power station. An estimated 10,000 workers are expected to be hired during the construction phase. The highly funded project is believed to be one of the most expensive in Angola overall. Reasons for this project A country blessed with many rivers, Angola's hydropower potential is among the highest in Africa, estimated at 18,200 megawatts. Angola's hydropower development has been mainly located on the Kwanza River, the country's largest river, including the Kapanda plant and the Kapambe plant, and is also home to several other hydropower projects, either under construction or in the planning stages, including Laosa and Kakulo Kabasa. In late 2016, the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China signed an agreement with the Angolan government to grant a loan to finance the construction of the Kakulo Kabasa hydropower project. Located in the middle of Kwanzaa, the project is expected to take over six years to build and will contribute to the power supply security of domestic markets and that of neighboring countries that form the Southern African Power Pool. This, coupled with increasing demand for electricity, following years of strong economic growth and urbanization, has placed hydropower development as a central element of the Angolan government's long-term vision for power sector. The government's stated aim is to substantially grow its hydropower generation capacity from its current levels of around 1,200 megawatts to over 9,000 megawatts by 2025. The construction thus at Kakulu Kabasa started the same month of the inauguration of the 2,070 megawatt Laosa HEP along the same river in the Malanje province. The two plants are second in Africa only to the ground Ethiopian Renaissance Dam with a capacity of 6,000 megawatts. Access to the clean electricity and generation of jobs are the two main arguments for big plans. But electricity is also planned to be exported to Namibia 
and South Africa along an interconnected grid. According to the World Energy Council, Angola's estimated hydropower potential is 150 TWh per year, one of the highest in Africa. However, so far only a small fraction of the country's hydro potential has been harnessed. Feasibility studies are in progress on major hydro schemes at Laosha and Kakulo Kabaka on Kwanza River, each with an installed capacity of 2,000 MW and on a 300 MW binational project at Bayens Mountains on the Kunen. According to a study by EXAME, Angola will soon have an installed capacity of 7,000 MW from its hydro sources, together with the capacity of other plants such as thermal plants, the combined cycle gas turbine of Soyo, and the windmill in Tombua. The country will count on around 10,000 MW installed capacity. This will bring the country close to its hydroelectric potential as well as past ability for the nation while offering jobs to its citizens. Development of the Kakulo Kabasa Project Since the Chinese firm was contracted to build a massive hydropower plant in Angola, several changes have been affected on the project thus far. Former Angolan President Jose Eduardo dos Santos officially inaugurated the construction of the Kakulo Kabasa hydropower project in Dondo, and the Angolan Minister of Energy and Water Resources, Yao Baptista Borges, addressing the opening ceremony, said the project, the largest of its kind being built in the country, is crucial to the economic construction of Angola in the future. It will solve the power shortage in Angola and play an active role in increasing employment of the country. He said, adding that the Angolan government felt grateful to the Chinese government and Chinese enterprises for their support to the development of Angola. According to Ren Jiangwo, Deputy General Manager of CGGC, the group will turn Kakulo Kabasa hydropower project into a high-quality project making contribution to Angola's energy and power, infrastructure and improvement, social and economic development and people's livelihood improvement. To date, Angola is one of the countries in Africa to have the most extensive cooperation with China in investment and in financing as well as infrastructure construction. China has cumulatively invested close to 50 billion US dollars in the country covering various fields in the infrastructure sector. The first turbine of a total of four at the Kakulo Kabasa hydroelectric facility under construction in the Angolan province of Kwanza North will start producing electricity from 2024, Energy and Water Minister Yao Baptista Borges said. In an interview with the Angol News Agency and Angolan Public Television, the minister said that the construction work was underway to build a tunnel for the diversion of the river in Kakulo Kabasa municipality of Banga. Work that was essential for work on building the dam to begin. Borges also said talks were underway to secure financing for the dam's electromechanical equipment to be supplied by German companies. Environmental and social issues of the project The project is a dynamite for sure, but it doesn't come with some environmental and social problems. Just like any other project which involves the distortion of natural causes, of things like rivers as well as places which are inhabited by humans, the project presents some serious problems. First of all, the biodiversity and cumulative impacts of the Kwanza River, which will be diverted off its natural course, as well as the natural diverse flora and fauna in the river, will be disturbed. Those living here shall face potential economic and physical displacement, which are damaging, especially for the low-income families who constitute the majority of the population. Given that the Kakulo Kabasa project will be classified as a Category A project, hence to mitigate those impacts if the project follows the environmental and social action plan provided for such projects, including compensation procedures. There you have it, the explorers. That was everything you needed to know about Angola's 4.5 billion Kakulo Kabasa hydroelectric power station. Thanks for watching this video, and if you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.